Hey everybody, this is Vaughn. Happy Saturday. It's February 23rd, 2024. And we are, this is the Heart of God for the Nation's Daily Scripture. And we are actually on our way to meet my brother Tab halfway to do dinner with him and to fellowship. And he's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. I'm actually reading these scriptures. He and my daughter Shayla within a uh, two day period said mom why don't you do this daddy why don't you do this why don't you read the scripture because some people don't have time to read it on their own they just want to listen to it while they're driving my brother Tab likes to listen to it before he goes to bed that just makes it worth all the while for me to do this but we're in Isaiah 45 11 and, and this, there's one part of this scripture that just shot off the page to me and I hope it blesses you like it blessed me it says Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his maker, and ask me of things to come concerning my sons, plural, not singular, not just Jesus, but because of Jesus, we all have the ability and the opportunity to become the sons and daughters of God. Amen. It says, and concerning the work of my hands, command ye me. I have made the earth and create, created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens, and all their hosts have I commanded. I have raised him up in righteousness. We know that God's talking about Cyrus here in this passage in Isaiah 45. But this God has raised us all up. Whoever accepts his son and is adopted into his family, he's raised us up, right? to do a work for him in his name and it says and i will direct all his or her ways he shall build my city god has called us to build his kingdom right in the name of jesus and it says and he shall let go my captives and jesus has called us to set the captives free in his name in the authority and power of his name and his blood we have that ability to, to set the captives free, right? And it says, not for price nor reward, saith the Lord of hosts. We don't do this for anything other than just to please God's heart and to bless him for blessing us. It's the least we can do, right? Is to, to be used by him to, to witness unto all that he puts in our path. Our prayer today is, oh, Father God, to think that we have the opportunity to be called your son and your daughter, to think that we have been given the chance to become your sons and your daughters. We know the King James was written in the masculine form, so it says son, but God, God means that as sons and daughters. Jesus, that is why you came to this earth, suffered, died, and was buried, and arose on the third day. Amen. To atone for our sins, to erase our transgressions, to blot out in our iniquities, to reconcile us back to the Father. Though our sins be like scarlet, you will wash us white as snow. You will make our vessel clean. You will cause us to come out from among them and be ye separate. You will empty us of the world, the flesh, and the devil. You will then fill us with your Holy Spirit, you will baptize us in the Holy Ghost and fire. Oh, Holy Spirit, you will lead us and guide us into all truth and righteousness. You will order our steps and cause us to walk with God. You will enable us to become the sons of God. We will have the prestigious, honorable, and heavenly opportunity to be called your sons and your daughters. In Isaiah 1 it says, Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. John 1 11 says, He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become what? The sons of God even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God.
we're born of God, right? And we're his sons and his daughters. 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness and unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what concord has Christ with Belial or the devil? Or what part has he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. Think about that. And God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and ye shall be what? My sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. There it is, sons and daughters. Second, Second Corinthians 5, 16. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh, do we? After we get saved, we're a different person. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation amen that's the work we're to do we're to help reconcile all his children back to him Romans 8, 14 is the last one for today, okay? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Let's read that again. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. He's our Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are what? The children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with them that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God of the sons and daughters of God for the creature the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly but by reason of him who is subjected the same in hope because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God and that's why Jesus came and did what he did he wanted us to uh, be reconciled back to the father as his sons and his daughters and he wanted us to walk in that liberty of the spirit amen and he wanted us to be adopted into the family of god and that's how god the father looks at me and you if we've accepted jesus as his as our lord and our savior his son amen and allow him to wash us clean of all of our sins and transgressions and iniquities and make us a new creature in Christ that he can use to help reconcile the world to himself. Amen. Hope this blessed you today. And sorry about all the bumps. And uh, we're so excited about seeing my brother. And Lord willing, we'll do this again tomorrow, okay? Hope you can find a place to go to church tomorrow and worship our Father and worship Jesus, our Lord and Savior and King. And allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you tomorrow and maybe minister through you to, to your neighbor. Amen. Love you all. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.